Hey guys, I'm back with the Darman video for you guys tonight. Bride kicks out her overweight maid of honor. She instantly regrets it. Um, this video is like... The fact that it says overweight maid of honor, I'm assuming it's because of the weight. Like, it, it has to be weight related. No one's just gonna say, Oh yeah, like you kicked out this maid of honor because she's overweight, but then like the reason that she kicked her out isn't because of weight at all. So obviously it's going to be about weight, which is not okay. Like, who cares if they're overweight, obese, like, obviously, in a sense, you want to, like, sorry. The only only thing about being overweight is that, like, obviously it's not, it's not good for you. Okay, I should probably plug my laptop. Uh, it's, it's obviously not good for you to be overweight, so if you're telling somebody to, like, lose weight because, like, you're genuinely concerned for them, that's okay. Like, there's nothing wrong with telling somebody to lose weight. It's how you say it, how you word it, and if you say it respectfully. Now, if you go up to someone and then and, and then you say, "Hey, you fat bitch, lose some weight," that's not gonna help. That's not gonna help. I'm sorry, it's not gonna help. I know it's it's shocking. That's not gonna help. But it's not gonna help. So, what you have to do is like say, "Hey, you know, like, let's say, let's say Brenda." Okay, hi Brenda. You know, like we like, like we've been best friends for a while. Or I don't know, cause I, I'm not the best at wording things either, but like. Basically, say it in a nice way. Basically, say that you're concerned for them and I want them to be around for a long time because you are, you most likely do. It's not it's not a line by any means. It's just saying it in a nice way. Like you don't want to go up to someone saying, "Brenda, you're fucking disgusting." That's not gonna do anything, bro. Like, do you want to make someone commit suicide or do you want to make them lose weight? There's there's a big difference there. There's no reason to be an asshole about it. You can really be nice about it. Like, oh, like you know, like I'm 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 concerned for you. If you'd like, I can help you find like a fitness plan, I can help you, I, I can go to the gym with you, I, I could be a workout buddy to help you stay motivated, I can help you make healthy meals, like help the person. Saying hey, 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 you fat bitch is not going to help at all. So don't do that, don't do that, okay? So, yeah, just don't do that because it's not going to help, not at all. Come on girls, let's oh. see those bridesmaids shots, please. come on girls. So obviously this is going to be the cunt that's getting, this is the ride. But she's always a fucking bitch. Like, yeah, she's pretty and everything, but, like, she's a fucking... Like, yeah, just because you're pretty doesn't mean shit. If you're pretty but you're an asshole, fuck out of here. So, yeah. Um, I'm assuming that she's gonna be like, Ew, you're overweight. I don't want an overweight. I'm, I don't want someone overweight at my, at my wedding or whatever, so... Girls, let's see those bridesmaids dressing! Like, wow, like, why would you choose her as the maid of, maid, maid of honor, then, if you don't want someone, f like, overweight at your wedding, then? Like, unless you just gained 100 pounds in the past month or two, then... <laughs> wow, you ladies look so... Oh my gosh. I tried to get the zipper up, but it won't budge. Um, forget the zipper. It looks like you're overstuffed in meat trying to escape a sausage casing. Pally! What? what? What did she say? It looks like you are overstuffed meat. It looks like you're overstuffed in meat trying... Trying to escape a sausage case. Oh my god, bro, what the what the hell? This is your maid of honor? If that's your maid of honor, that's likely your like best friend or something, bro. Like what? Pally! What? Oh my god. I'm just being honest. What about that keto diet that I told you about? Didn't you try it? Here, let me try helping you with the zipper. Just stop it, Becca. You're gonna pop it. You know what? My dress feels a little snug too. It must be a small mate. How's it working out for you ladies? Um, actually, could I get this dress in a bigger size? Oh. Okay, let's take a look at M. Oh, I'm sorry. This is the largest size we carry in this dress. Size 20? I don't know what size that is. Like, small, medium, large, extra large? That's what I know. I don't know what 20. I don't know what 20 is. Well, I guess we see what 20 is, but like how much would 10 be? Like, what, I guess half of that. A anyways, you, like you guys know what I mean. Small, medium, large. Or extra large, extra, extra large, whatever. I, I don't know numbers, I know no it's letters. It's not the dress that's the problem, Laurie. It's your weights. And you need to do something about that. I can't have my maid of honor showing up to my wedding like this. I'm gonna ruin all the photos. Ugh. I actually like the way my dress fits. Be right there, Callie. All these girls are so skinny. 
We need to look this good. All right. First, we've got some grilled cheese bites with tomato soup. Wow, thanks. That looks so good. My pleasure. Yeah. He's cute. I think he likes you. You totally should talk to him. He's way out of my league. Yeah, that's me with everybody I, sp I speak to. I'm like way out of my league. What are you doing? You shouldn't be eating. You should be fasting. But this is so small. It's just a sample. I literally haven't eaten all day to prepare for this tasting. Can you say the same? Why haven't you been eating, Kali? Because I want to look skinny for the wedding. Oh my god, who cares, bro? Obviously. But you're already so skinny. Yeah, and I want to keep it that way. Well, look like you. Oh my god, bro. Shut up. Oh my god. How are you even friends? Like, if it was her, I would just, like, grab a cup, throw it in her face, and leave, bro. Like, normally the maid of honor, like, correct me if I'm wrong, but only the bride, the bride's maid of honor is normally someone that's, like, a best friend. I would think. It's not going to be some random bitch that you don't even know. It's going to be your best friend, most likely. So this is your friend. This is your best friend that you're talking to, like, a, like a sister figure. How the fuck is she even, even, even friends with her, bro? I would have freaking dropped her ass. Mm. This is actually really good. Are you choking or something? Okay. Sometimes tomato soup gives me really bad heartburn. Oh, my friend. Do you have tongues? Come on, I need something. Nope. Excuse me? Do you have any tongues? No. Sorry. What does that even mean, bro? Uh, any chance you have a teaspoon of baking soda? Yeah, the e e e other one keeps floating. Did I hear you say baking soda? Mm-hmm. Baking soda neutralizes the acid in your stomach. So heartburn actually occurs when the stomach fluid goes back into your esophagus. Thank you. Baking soda can help with it. Drink this slowly. Sometimes I forget that you're immersed. Oh, excuse me. Wow, it does feel a little better. I wouldn't have howled or no. I'd be like, eh, that's fine. You can continue having heartbreak because I don't give a fuck. That doesn't mean you should be eating. Really now? Really? Okay. Okay. I'm going to remember this. I don't know what her name is, but I'm just going to say... I don't know. Care? No. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two. What are you doing, bro? Why did you stop the music? Are you okay? You look a little off. Yeah, she does. Yeah, I'm, I'm just like a little lightheaded from not eating. I'm on this water diet. Do you want? Well, well then eat, you dumb bitch. Want to take a break? That's not a bad idea. Maybe we should order some food if you're not feeling well. No, I I don't want to eat anything right now. I still have a few months to go, and I want to at least lose five pounds, so let's just keep going. I'm oh, there's nothing to even lose, bro. Like, what is there to e e even lose? Like, you want to lose some brain cells or something? Like, you already have not none of those. Like, you want to lose more of them? Fine. Actually, I need a minute. Are you kidding me? If I can power through with no food, you'll survive. From the top. Fuck. Like, I can understand, like, obviously being annoyed, like, if your one friend is kind of like, oh, I'm tired, and then it's, like, barely been a minute or or anything, I can, I, I understand, but it's, like, have some, like, sympathy. Like, again, you can help her lose weight, you can help her be on a diet, you can help her go to the gym, like, you can help her. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. I'm sorry, I can't. Are you got to be kidding me? You do honestly, like they're barely. I'm I'm not trying to judge by any means, but they are barely uh, barely moving. They are barely moving. Like doing this, like like what's that gonna do? Like chill. It's not that big of a deal. I'm sorry. Like I'm like again. I'm not actually the one doing it, but from what it looks like, it doesn't look that difficult. So you realize why you can't keep up, right? It's your weight. You're too big. 
So obviously she's being like she's being honest. I mean, I can't I, I, I can't lie. She's being honest. But again, there's different ways of approaching this. I told you this before, guys. There's a different way of approaching this kind of thing. Like weight is a very sensitive topic. Look, you're my cousin and my maid of honor, so I'm not going to sugarcoat it anymore. Your weight is disgusting, Lori. I love you and all, but I'm not going to have you embarrass yourself and me on my wedding day. Come on, Kelly, stop. That's mean. No. Okay, so... She needs to hear this. Okay, so yes, she does. I, I will admit, if you are overweight and, like, it's affecting your health, then honestly, like, you do need to hear it. Like, you do. You don't need to hear it in such a dramatic way now. Now, okay, let's see. So let's say this girl is trying to tell her cousin that she needs to lose weight in, like, a, in a really nice way. And let's say starting, like, a year ago, she already said, okay, yeah, like, you know, I can help you do this, I can help you do this, I can help you do this. Let's say... The, uh, the maid of honor ignores it. Like, let's say she just says, fuck it, I'm fine, I'm in my own skin, I don't give a fuck what you think, I'll be fine, I'm slaying the way I am. Okay, great, that's you. Like, yeah, sure, slaying the way you are, but your weight's not so good. So, you 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 should probably get, like, not get help, but, like, help yourself, right? If you want to, li like, live longer, then you're going to need to lose weight, right? So, I'm not going to lie, like, she does need to hear it, she does but in a nicer way. Now, if she's dismissing it and saying, I'm fine, I'm fine, and then it's kind of like, it is kind of kind of affecting the bride now because obviously the bride has plans and everything. Like, the bride is kind of a cunt, not gonna lie. And she's obviously being a cunt and being cunty and everything, but it's like, be nice about it, and then if they're like denying it or kind of like, like sugarcoating, not sugarcoating it, if they're like denying it or like not making the, not making like, not taking it seriously, kind of like, a, a, a dismissing it that's the word like yeah you're overweight you should probably and then you're like no it's fine i'll be fine like i'm i'm not that big it's fine like that's when you should get a bit more strict but it doesn't mean you need to say you fat bitch get to the gym like you know what i mean there's other ways of approaching it okay that's that's my point but in that dress by the time we pick it up from the store you're out of the bridal party i'm dead serious Don't listen to Kelly. Your cousin's just being a total bridezilla right now. No, she's right. I do need to lose weight. This is her wedding, and I want to try to make it work for her. Bitch, no. Okay. Yes, she needs to lose weight. I've, yes. Okay, we all know that she needs to lose weight. We all know that. But you don't lose weight for her. You lose weight for you. You lose weight for your health. Like, you're not going to lose weight for your cousin. That makes no sense. Like, no, bitch. You're going to lose weight for you. You're losing weight for you. So you can live better, live happier, live longer. It's it's not for that cunt, it's for you. There's a big difference there. You don't do it for someone else, you do it for you. But it's your body. Facts. You don't have to do anything you don't want to do. That's also facts. If she doesn't want to lose weight, if she doesn't want to lose weight. If she's my bestie, and I'm like, okay, bestie, I want you to, to be healthier. Like, I, I, I'm not going to lie, I'm kinda, I'm kind of in, in a similar situation too. Now, obviously, she lives kind of, like, further away, so I can't really say, oh, yeah, let's go to the gym together, or I, I don't even think she wants to. But, again, it's me showing my concern for her, but at the same time, if I'm showing my concern for somebody and they don't take it seriously or they don't do anything with it, that's that's all I can do. Like, yes, you can be more rude about it, but, like, that's not going to do anything either. That, that may just make you lose a friend, right? Like, be nice about it, be straight up and blunt, but don't be a dick about it. There's a difference. And regardless, she shouldn't be talking to you that way. Fact. I know how important this day is to Kelly. We've been talking about it since we were kids. I don't want to ruin this for her. I get it, but it's also your body. That's what you need to worry about. I'm gonna lose the weight. And I'm gonna fit in that dress. And, and, and you're gonna do it for you, though. That's the thing, bitch. You're doing it for you, right? Not her, you're doing it for you. No, I can. Yes, you can. Cool. But you're not doing it for her, you're doing it Let's for you. Let's keep practicing. Like, so again, she's being, like, very, very blunt and honest. She's being very nice about it, which is great. But she's also, she's also kind of sugar -quit. Like, yeah, she does need to lose weight. And, and you're saying you don't need to do anything that I, that I don't want to do. It, it is her body. That's facts. If she wants to lose weight, she'll lose weight. If she doesn't want to lose weight, she'll lose weight. That, that's all there is to it. But still. Ain't nothing to it. Go ahead and bring a lot on. Ain't no giant. I ain't gonna fire on. Catch a 
like to feed you I'm wrong, I'm gone Y'all can catch the wave that I am on I am high corn, y'all are wide born Think that I'm a wrecking cyborg so Ain't nothing to it though This is all me, ain't got much to do with who you know Keep it true to form to the L's and do a milli though But they already knew that those for up to your opinions Know that he is so Oh my god. Uh, this is Bro, what do you gotta be smaller? Her arm knocked it over. Like like her acting like her freaking thigh or like her freaking butt was like eh. Like 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 imagine this is her butt, right? And then she's like eh. Like she's not freaking smacking with her freaking butt. It's her arm. Lori. I mean yeah, she fucked up, but like But again, doing it for you. Six thirty? That that's disgusting. That's good. Did she just get rid of it? Hey, do you know where my dress is? I'm sorry, Lori, but I decided to kick you out of the wedding party. Uh, but uh, I lost the weight. I've been dieting and exercising like crazy. Okay, I you think you lost the weight, but you're still fat, Kelly. Oh my god. That's not fair. She worked really hard. Yeah, now she's just being a straight up cunt. Like, now she's literally working for it. Like, she's working for what? She's not even doing it for her sake. She's doing it for your stupid sake. Like, you're still fat. Like, yes, we can tell she's still overweight, but she's working at it now. That's the difference. She's working at it now. It's not hard enough. Oh, my God. Look, you can attend the wedding, but you just can't be a bridesmaid. Well, in that case, I'm not going to the wedding. Danny! And the, and the only way I'm going to the wedding is I'm going to, like, push you down, down the flight of stairs or something. Will you be my maid of honor? <laughs> Oh my gosh! <laughs> okay, I have the perfect shoes that'll match your dress. <laughs> like, the, like look at that. Like really, bitch? Oh, that that was harsh. Like she's the only nice one. I am so sorry. You did not deserve that. Are you okay? Uh, yeah, I'll be fine. Um, I'm actually gonna go. I'll. See you at the wedding. No, bitch, I'm not going to the wedding no more. Mm -mm, fuck, oh, fuck that shit. She's a fucking cunt. Wow, you look so beautiful. Yeah, I should, uh, I should kind of mad if you ask me. Thanks. What was that? My stomach. I haven't eaten anything today. But hey, how great do I look in my dress? You do. All right, you're all done. Like, bro, this girl doesn't even care about nothing. She's just like, oh my god, am I all hot? <laughs> like, I hate girls. Like, I get it doing your makeup and everything. But it's like, fucking show, bro. Like, I swear, girls are so obsessed with, like, fucking relax. Hey, Danny. Uh-huh. Can you bring me my vows? I want to practice before the wedding. And this is very similar to, to a video that we've seen in the past, where Raj was, like, the, the maid of honor, I believe. And then she also kicked out someone because they were too poor. Because they were too poor. And then, that, and then the maid of honor that I replaced that girl was stupid like her. And then she's like, yeah, I have everything in my purse. And, and then she has nothing ready. And then, and, and, and then the bride is going to come crawling back to the overweight girl and say, oh, I really miss you. I want you to... And, then, and then because the maid of honor is going to be so nice, she'll say, oh, you know, I forgive you. And then they're going to uh, have, ha have a wedding. She'll say sorry. They're going to all say sorry. Happily ever after, blah, blah, blah. I basically just painted the fucking story for you guys. There you go, of you're welcome. It's in my purse. Yeah, I'm sure it is. Did 
did you lose my vows? Of course not. I just can't find them. What do you mean can't find them? How could you lose my vows? I didn't mean to. Here, I'll help you look. Where's the last place you remember seeing them? I don't know. This is ri ridiculous. Yeah, she's about to pass out too. It's the last. Oh look, you know, maybe we need a nurse. Oh, how coincidental. Maybe we need a nurse over here. Oh wait, the maid of honor uh, you had before was a nurse. Hmm. I don't know what to do. How coincidental. Oh, thank God. I was just about to call you. Come quick. We need you. It's Hallie. Oh my gosh. Hallie? Hey, Hallie. Yeah, I would not be helping her. I'm sorry. I would not be helping her. Hallie. Wake up. She needs food. Uh, what are you doing? We need to elevate her feet so that the blood rushes back to her head. Here, grab that stool. What, what happened? You passed out. Uh, can you grab the actress? Sip this. Your blood sugar is low, probably from not eating. Just breathe easy. You're okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Now come on, let's get you to sit up. We gotta get you ready to walk down that aisle. I, I can't. Danielle lost my bowels and now, now everything is ruined. <laughs> no, it's not. It's fine. Just speak from your heart. I will literally freeze. I can't speak in front of people. I, I need something written down. Okay. Um, yeah, I feel like I'm, I'm well, the same way. Write it down then. All right. Why don't you start telling me things about Jack? Anything that comes to mind. I'm blinking right now. I can't do this under pressure. Do you cross mind giving us a moment? Why don't you close your eyes? All right. What are some things that you like about Jack? Okay, well, to start, he's kind. And I love that he knows me like the back of his hand. What else? Well, he can always deal with me when I'm being a little crazy. And a little cunty. Or a lot of crazy. <laughs> or a lot of cunty. He's reliable. Unlike you. It's always there for me. Mm, probably unlike you for him. Always has my back. Unlike you. Kind of like you. Lori, I am so sorry for how I treated you. Mm -hmm. I just got so I'm stressed so out sorry. with the wedding. And I was just so obsessed with making everything perfect. But now I realize that my wedding can only be perfect if... You're in I it. had you as my maid of honor. Not too bad. I'm not going in there. I don't want to ruin the photos. No, I was wrong for saying that to you. You could only make the photos. So what do you say? Mm -hmm. Will you be my maid of honor again? No. Come on, please. Please, no. please, 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 please. No. <laughs> Remember the routine? I might have been practicing. I noticed. <laughs> I don't think you're the only one that noticed. Where's the guy at? You were absolutely incredible. No, I wasn't. <laughs> I'm serious. I had no idea you could dance so well. And you look amazing in this dress. Stop, you're gonna make me blush. Just kidding. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> All right. 
Uh, you guys already know what I'm, 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 I'm thinking of. Okay. Try to throw the bouquet towards her. <laughs> that was a good video, guys. Not gonna lie. I always like underestimate me how long this video will be, and I always fucking. So I want, I want to see some comments. I want to see, I want to see if people are saying the same thing that I'm saying. Because again, losing weight is obviously great. Like you do need to lose weight. If you're overweight, like I don't even care. Like you need to lose weight. It's not good for you. I know it's hard. It's not fucking easy. I, I know it's not easy. But like, the bride was way too rude to her cousin, but also, but she also has an eating disorder. Anorexia is one of the most deadliest mental diseases, and we should spread awareness about that too. Never made fun of someone because of their parents. Yeah, so honestly, yeah. So she obviously does have a... She's not anorexic from what I can see, but she's definitely really skinny and obsessed with being skinny, so she has an eating, eating disorder too. So it's kind of like they both do, in, in a sense, one doesn't want to eat a lot and one wants to eat possibly too much. Really great message, um, however, we should also we should remember that there, that there are types of weight that are, that are, that they are types of weight that are unhealthy. Being confident in yourself is amazing and all, but also work on yourself so it doesn't get out of hand. Keep posting these awesome videos, as my way do on the inside, all that matters is what you do on the end. That's sick, okay. Many shapes and sizes. Again, yes, but I want to never, never say I'm just being honest as as an excuse for bullying anyone. Being honest is great. Like, there's 43 replies to this, so I'm pretty sure that there's a difference between being honest and downright nasty. Facts. Uh, that's like telling a, a cancer patient that they're not healthy. It's the truth. However, it's cruel. It's it's cruel to say. There there's a saying: If you don't have anything nice to say, don't say it at all. Yes, but again, if you want to say something to someone, ugh, I don't know, guys. It's again, it's a really touchy subject. This episode hit me hard. I've struggled with my way for years. I go up and down throughout the years, mainly due to depression and stress. I've never allowed anyone to just respect or disregard me because of my weight. I think the actress that played Delores is, is, is absolutely incredible. I want to see more of her. Just because your maid of honor isn't the body you want, it doesn't mean you have to kick her out. There are thousands of maid of honors that are overweight, so please don't sh body shame because they are working to get a normal body. Judging a person because of their body or because of looks does not define who they are, it defines who you are. Big fan. So again, just to end off this video, I do understand both points. One, like, here's the thing. Yes, the one, the bride wanted her to lose weight. But for the wrong reasons. Like, she didn't want her to lose weight because she's worried about her. Because she's uh, she's worried about her. She was only worried about her stuff. So the bride didn't care about her health. Didn't, didn't care about her well-being at all. She only cared about her wedding. Right? So if it was the other way around, and if she was nicer about it, fantastic. I'm not gonna, like, I'm not gonna... I personally don't, like, I might even make a comment on this video myself. Because honestly, yes, she did need to hear it. And yes, you need to lose weight to stay healthy, but it's like, you have to be nicer about it. Like, don't sugarcoat it, be honest, be upfront. But again, there's there's honest and there's just being a total cunt, right? Like, you have to find the media. Like, there's no need to be rude about it, there's no, there's no need to be totally soft about it. Like, be in the middle. Like, hey, I'm worried about your weight. I really want to see you live a long time. I, I don't want to see you struggle like this. Like, you know what I mean? There's there there There's ways to go about it. So choose your words wisely. Be careful how you say it, what and what and what you say, obviously. And yeah, just be careful, guys, because. Or yeah, like, like be careful with your words because again, it could really hurt. It could really trigger someone. And um, just just be careful. Again, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, did she need to lose weight? Yes. And did, and and did the bride herself have some weight issues that she has to deal with? Yes, because she's thinking she's too skinny. So she also has an eating eating disorder, or they all they both have weight issues in a sense, because one is more so like mental and one is more so physical. Because like one is the mental one where like you think oh my god I gotta be so skinny I gotta be so skinny. I used to be hella skinny, bro. Like now I'm not hella, I'm not I'm not fat, but I used to be hella, like hella skinny. Now I'm just like I feel like average. Sorry, I don't mind my freaking shirt. I keep freaking getting toothpaste all over my freaking shirt, bro. It's so annoying. My arm used to be like probably like. Probably like this, like my forearm right here, this was like my shoulder and up here, this right here, this, this used to be up here. 
So this used to be even smaller, so I was really skinny. I've been like 40 pounds in the past like two years, which is pretty good because I needed I needed that. I really did. Um, but yeah, there's that for you guys. Um, I just spat on my laptop. Disgusting. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed it, be sure to give it a like. Comment down below. Please comment, comment down below and let me know what you guys think because again, like, do you guys understand what I'm saying? Yes, yeah. Like, yes, you have to be blunt and say what you have to say. But, oh, but don't be a dick about it. I've said it like a thousand times. But I'm sure you guys understand that point by now. I'm sure you understand that, uh, my point there. So again, if you're going to pr approach someone with the same ad attitude, change it. Don't do this. There, there's nicer ways to go about it. And again, if you want them to lose weight, don't say lose it for me. Lose it for you, bitch. Big difference. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for, thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Turn on post notifications. I'll see you guys in the next one. Deuces. Peace.